Hey, a pleasant good day, everybody. This is Sports News. I'm Joe Boric, and this is opening day, so we're going to start previewing divisions since obviously they don't get decided until the end of the season. So I find that when you do it at the beginning of the seasons, they've done a little bit better, the videos. So we're going to start with the AL West, is of course the AL West has the Houston Astros. LA Angels of Anaheim, Oakland Athletics, who are obviously taking a step back this year, Texas Rangers, who are going to take a step forward, and the Seattle Mariners, who are going to continue to take a step forward. So we'll start with the team that I think is going to be in last on the offset. I have a feeling with the way the A's sold, or yeah, sold their guys, that's a way you could say that, sold their guys, they're going to end up being the last place team, and I don't think there's really much else to touch on the athletics other than the fact that we could say that they could be better because they're the athletics and they picked up guys like Honeywell Jr. They made Cole Irvin good. Uh, Caprillion's there. Montes is still there for now. A.J. Puck still hasn't seen the full version of A.J. Puck yet, I believe. So maybe there's somehow be a surprise team, but it's going to take a miracle this year. Christian Pache they have there now who's going to be good to continue to build around. But for this season... No, not so much. Now, the this division's hard to pick because you have the Astros that lost the Correas of the world, but they're still a good team. But I think the Mariners and Rangers are taking a huge ascension, and I do think the Angels are going to be better. But I think the Angels right now, until they prove it to me, are still going to be the fourth place team going in. I do like that they got better. And they brought in guys, they brought in pitchers like Aaron Loop, who has at least been proven in his career, not consistent every year, but a proven guy for most of his career. Same with Ryan Tapara, Tapara. Uh, so he's been good as well. So they brought in some guys, but their team still isn't the sexiest on paper. So like until I see it, I think they're the fourth place team, in my opinion. So we got the Athletics and the Angels right now. The Angels would be the fourth place team. The Athletics would, of course, be the fifth place team. And now we're going to move on. The third place team, literally, I had to keep doing a coin flip. The reason these videos honestly take so long to come out um, is because it's hard with some of these divisions and with a lot of them this year, other than like last place. And like this division's so tight with the way the Mariners improved, with the way the uh, Rangers have improved, and then the Astros are the Astros. But with the losses of the Astros and how much I think Correa's loss is actually going to affect them, we saw how much it, it hurt Jose Altuve. I'm just going to predict the Astros in third. They have a good on-paper roster, just like the Mariners and Rangers. But sometimes that off-the-field shit does factor in as well. And, of course, for the Astros, that can play case that you lost basically your heart and soul guy of your team. Uh, so first, who's going to come in first in the division? For me... I have to say, well, we'll start with second. The team that I think is going to have a good chance to come in first is honestly the Texas Rangers because they made all the right additions. Pitching-wise, yes, I want to continue to see their pitching grow. I do think their pitching, similar to the Phillies, is weak, but their lineup is absolutely killer. And they added Brad Miller from the damn Phillies, who they should have kept. Um, who is a guy that's great off the bench. So I think the Rangers, they're the team that I think is going to win the division. So I lied. We started with the first place team because they had even Cole Calhoun. They have Willie Calhoun. They have Garcia. Eli White is continuing to grow. He's kind of like one of those late bloomers come out of nowhere guyers. Nick Solick, Marcus Simeon, Corey Seager, uh, N Nathaniel Lowe. Um, so they have just a plethora of bat talent. It's just now can the Brett Martins of the world, can Perez pitch at least as decent as last year? What's Dennis Santana going to be? Like, it's the questions in the rotation, but having a John Gray and having a guy like um, Kobe Allard who might be able to eventually maybe go back to being a starter if he does good as a relief, you have Brock Burke. It's about the pitching being good enough. So they're kind of the AL Phillies where their lineup looks amazing, but their pitching might leave something to be desired. So you have to see what happens there. But their defense to me is much better than the Phillies. So I think that's really going to help them out in that aspect. So the Texas Rangers would be in first place. Second place, I do think is going to be the Seattle Mariners. I think the Seattle Mariners did enough to improve, plus already had a plethora of of good young talent, like Chris Flexen started to emerge there. Lurgan Gilbert's good. Gonzalez just has to pitch solid. 
Uh, Munoz is a great reliever. Ramirez is a very good reliever in the making. They added Robbie Ray. Sergio Romo, I think, is going to have a good year. Seawald is a solid reliever. Justin Sheffield, I think, can be good as a reliever. And then Strecken Ryder has been pretty good his solid, entire solid career, I should say. So, uh, J.P. Crawford continues to grow each year. So, I think this team um, is going to be a team that really comes together well um, and is able to be a very productive club uh, this year um, based off of the fact that they made the improvements needed. I mean, when you add Robbie Ray, who's the Cy Young winner, Tom Murphy's already good there. So you didn't need to make improvements there. You already have France, Crawford, Frazier, Moore, Suarez. <coughs> Excuse me, you added Suarez. Been a little bit um coffee today. I kind of have a cold. You added Eugenio Suarez. Abraham Toro emerged. Mitch Hanniger, Jared Kelnick, Julio Rodriguez, and Jesse Winker, plus Adam Frazier. I think this team is set to really compete. I think they're going to make the playoffs for sure. And I also obviously think the Rangers are going to make the playoffs. And then we'll see how good the record is of the Western Division in the AL's third place team with the expanded playoffs now for if that team will make the playoffs or not. But to recap, we have the Rangers, Mariners, Astros, and we'll see. I think they are a good enough third place team to make the playoffs of my odds set prediction, but we'll have to see. And then we have the Angels with the Athletics coming in last. I think the Athletics just come in last by default because they're just blatantly showing they're rebuilding. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe and have a great day.